Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this poncho. This poncho is designed using treble crochet stitch. It has simple and easy to follow pattern and can be done in no time. This poncho measures about 20 inches from shoulder to wrist and about 26 inches in circumference for the neck opening and from the neck down is about 27 inches. So let's get started! For the materials, I used two skeins of Caron Big Cakes yarn in cranberry crisp color. I also used size H 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, blunt needle, some markers, and a tape measure. So let's start with a knot and chain 78. This is now 78 chains. Row 1. Shell in 6 chain from hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On this stitch, we're going to shell. And shell is 4 treble crochets. So to treble, yarn over twice. Insert in a stitch. Yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So this is our first treble crochet right here. And then our second treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops. That's our second treble crochet. Another treble crochet, yarn over twice. Insert in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through two loops. This is our third treble crochet. Our last treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And we just did, did our shell right here. Skip four chains. One, two, three, four, and on the next chain, shell again. So four treble crochets. This is our first treble. Second treble in the same stitch. Third treble in the same stitch. And fourth treble crochet in the same stitch. So here's another shell. And repeat the pattern, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and shell again on the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So at this point, I'm going to skip four stitches and shell in the next stitch right here. So this is my first treble crochet. Second. Third. And my fourth treble crochet for my shell. This is what it looks like. And then to end this row, there should be two stitches left right here. 
And then to end this row, just skip the next stitch and go to the next last stitch and do a last treble crochet on the last stitch right here. So treble crochet on the last stitch to end row one. And this is what row one looks like. Row two, chain five. One, two, three, four, five, turn, and then skip the first stitch and treble crochet decrease starting in the next stitch. So skip this one and starting on the next stitch right here, treble crochet decrease. So to treble dec crochet decrease, uh, treble, yarn over twice, insert in the stitch, the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then stop right here. We have two loops in the hook, and then yarn over twice again, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and stop. We have three loops in the hook, then yarn over twice, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and stop. We have four loops on the hook. And then one last time, yarn over twice, insert in the last stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then we have five loops on the stitch. And then to end the decrease, yarn over and pull through all five loops. So we just did a treble crochet decrease and it looks like this. Then chain four, one, two, three, four. And then treble, decrease, treble crochet decrease in the next four stitches. So again, in the next four stitches right here, first treble. And stop here, yarn over twice, insert in the next, and stop at three loops, yarn over twice, insert in the next stitch, this is our third, and stop at four loops, and then yarn over twice, insert in the fourth stitch, and then stop at five loops, right here, five, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. So this is our second treble crochet decrease. Then chain four and repeat the pattern. Treble crochet decrease in the next four stitches again. So insert, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through twice. The second stitch. Stop at three loops. And this is our third stitch. Stop at four loops, and then the last stitch, the fourth one, and stop at five loops, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. So this is our, then chain four. So repeat this pattern across, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row, I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So at this point, I'm going to uh, do one last treble crochet decrease on the last four stitches here. So yarn over twice, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So this is our second, third, and fourth. And then finish it. And then to end this row, chain two. And then on the last stitch, on the, on the uh, top of the turning chain, uh, do a treble crochet on top of the turning chain right here. So this is our treble crochet to end row two. This is how to end row two, and this is what row two looks like. Row three, chain four, one, two, three, four, turn, and then V-stitch on top of each 
treble crochet decrease right here on this stitch, V stitch. So, so, so to V stitch, treble crochet on this stitch, chain four, and then treble crochet in the same stitch right here. So we just did our first V stitch and then go to the next stitch, treble crochet decrease stitch right here and uh, repeat the pattern of V stitch on that stitch. So chain four and another treble and the same stitch. So this is our second V stitch. Then go to the next, repeat the pattern. V stitch again on top of the treble de crochet decrease. And this is our third V stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So I'm going to do my last V stitch on the last treble de crochet decrease right here. So treble on this stitch, chain four, and treble on the same stitch. And to end this row, just treble on the fourth chain of the turning chain of the prior row. So treble, yarn over twice, and then on the fourth chain of the turning chain, right here, one, two, three, fourth, treble, this is where we treble. Insert the stitch and do our treble crochet. So this is how to end row three, and this is what row three looks like. Row four, from here, chain four, turn, and then shell in the chain four space. So yarn over twice. This is our first treble crochet, second treble crochet, third treble crochet, and fourth treble crochet, which is our shell. This is our first shell. Then repeat the pattern, shell again in the next chain four space. Two, three, and four. This is what it looks like. So repeat, shell again in the next chain four space. One, two, three, and four. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just gonna do my last shell on the last chain four space. So this is my first treble crochet. Second treble crochet, third, and fourth. Then to end this row, just treble crochet on top of the turning chain. So right here, treble crochet on this stitch to end row four. This is how to end row four, and this is what row four looks like. So from here, repeat rows two to four until piece measures about 30 inches. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I have 30 inches of my piece to show you the next step. So this is now what my piece looks like after repeating the pattern up to 30 inches. So this will be panel number one for the whole poncho. So make another panel of exactly the same pattern since we need two panels for the poncho.
So these are now the two panels for my poncho. This is panel number one and panel number two at the bottom. And I lay it like an L shape. And I just want to make note that I left a long tail for each panel to use in attaching the pieces together. And for this panel, the tail is in the bottom right corner right here. And then for the other panel, the tail is right here. It's also in the bottom corner like right here. So to assemble the pieces together, so lay your panels like this and move it to this way. So these pieces here, right here, will be attached together. And then we're going to fold this piece here towards this way, align it on the bottom, and then fold it this way. And then these pieces right here will be attached together. And now the poncho is formed. And I'm just going to put a marker to help me when I'm attaching the pieces together. So these are now the two edges that I need to attach together. So this is the long tail that I'm talking about earlier. So I'm going to attach these pieces together all the way here to the marker. So these are now the two edges that I'm going to attach together. I'm going to turn it this way then I'm going to insert on the corner stitch on the front piece and then hook the last stitch of the back piece like this and pull through and then chain one then single crochet in the next stitch of the front piece and also on the back piece, attaching them together like this. So I'm doing a single crochet in each stitch of both pieces to attach them together. And by the way, I'm using size H on right now, but I, I switched to size G but I didn't take um, a video of it, so I'm just letting you know that I switched to size G to make the stitches tighter. Let's continue with a uh, single crochet in each stitch here and uh, on, each, on each of the chain here on the front piece like this. So continue this pattern across. This is what it looks like. So continue this uh, pattern across all the way to the, so right here, all the way to the marker here. So this is now what the piece looks like with the edges attached together. So this would be the wrong side of the piece and this is the right side of the piece. So the wrong side is facing up and when I'm done attaching, I left a long tail. And this is the other side of the poncho, the other two edges that needs to be attached together. So as I mentioned earlier, I use size G for um, these stitches. What I did is with the front piece, I did a uh, chain one first. On the front on this last stitch here so I did chain one turn and then insert on the first stitch here and then insert on the corner stitch of the back side or the back piece and then yarn over and pull through and then single crochet then single crochet in the next stitch on both sides, attaching them together like this. And then just continue, repeat the pattern of single crochet in each stitch on both sides. And this is what it looks like. So continue this pattern across all the way to the marker. So this is now what the piece looks like after the edges are attached together. This is where attach, we attached here on this side, and this is the wrong side of the piece. And then I left, left a long tail 
because I'm going to crochet a border around the neckline using the long tail. Then if I flip it on the other side, so this is the side, this is the part where I attach also on the side of the piece. And I also left a long tail here, and I'll use this long tail to crochet a border on the bottom of the poncho around right here. So with the wrong side facing up, I'm going to flip it right side out so this time the right side is facing up and starting from here i'm going to crochet a border around the bottom edge of the poncho so i'm here at the bottom edge of the poncho i'm going to start with my border using size h crochet hook and i'm just going to take out this marker I'm just going to unravel one stitch and then I'm going to chain one, single crochet in the next stitch right here. And then on this stitch here, five double crochets in the same stitch. And this would make a scallop. So this is our first scallop. And then three single crochets. One here. One in this stitch here in the middle. And then one outside. So three single crochets. So this is what it looks like. And then repeat five double crochets again in this stitch. In the same stitch. Two, three, four, and five. This is what it looks like. Repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back to show you how to do the corner. So I'm here now at the corner. So uh, I'm going to do one more, one last scallop, which is five double crochets on this stitch. Two, three, four, and five. Now to, for, to do my corner, I'm just going to single crochet on the corner stitch right here. Then chain one and another single crochet in the same stitch. And this is how I did my corner. And then on this edge here, five double crochets on this stitch. So the same pattern, just continue the pattern. Five double crochets. Then three double, I mean three single crochets one here and one in this middle stitch here and then another one outside then repeat the pattern this is what it looks like five double crochets again on this stitch two three four and five. So repeat this pattern around. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to do one more scallop on this stitch here. So five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Then to end this round, I'm just going to single crochet one last time here on this stitch. One more single crochet. And then to join the round, just slip stitch on the first single crochet that we did right here. So slip stitch to join the round. And fasten off. And now we can cut the yarn. 
And we're done with the border at the bottom of the poncho. Now I'm going to work on the neckline. I'm going to crochet a border around the neckline using the long tail that I left. So I'm going to take out this marker here. And I'm still using size H crochet hook. And for my border, I'm just going to double crochet around the neckline. So starting with chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch here. And double crochet in the next chain right here. And just continue with a double crochet in each chain around the neckline. So evenly crochet about 85 double crochets around the neckline and it would create about 26 inches in circumference of neckline measurement. So continue this pattern around the neckline and I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm about to end the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to do two more double crochets in the next chain. Then one last double crochet here. And then to end this round, I'm going to join on the first double crochet here with a slip stitch to join. And this is what it looks like. Then an, I added one more row of single crochets, so it's chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, back loop only. And single crochet in each stitch around the neck, back loop only, like this. So continue this pattern around the neckline and I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. Just going to do two more single crochets here and then I'm going to join the round with a slip stitch on the first single crochet here. And fasten off, cut the yarn and weave the ends. And we're done! Let me try it on and thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and please subscribe!